function here, f of x equals x plus 9 squared. Is that function 1 to 1? No. No, it's not. What does it look like? I don't know. It just says it's not 1 to 1. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why is it not? <laughs> it's a good thing you actually you read it. Good. Why is it not 1 to 1? The problem. It's a parabola. What makes a parabola not be one to one? A horizontal line test. It doesn't pass the horizontal line test. Remember parabolas, in case you forgot, look like this. They're little U's. Okay, they may be big U's. And they don't pass the horizontal line test. Sometimes, though, we want to be able to basically get rid of part of this parabola so that what's left is one to one. And then we can go about finding the inverse. In order to know which part to get rid of, though, you have to have some details. So if you graph this function on your calculator, if you've got your calculator, go ahead and pull it out and graph this function. And look at different places that we can go about cutting it off. about the shuttle, that's why I was <coughs> I hate the shuttle. Yeah, that is always challenging. Now, if you're looking at this graph, there are lots of places you can lop it off, and what's left, what you decide to keep, would be one to one. But what we said in here is choose the largest possible domain. So what would be the largest possible amount of things? Where should I cut it off in order to keep the biggest part of the graph? Any suggestions? You don't have to tell me a particular point. You can just tell me approximately where. The vertex. In the middle, at the vertex. And if you don't remember that vertex word, don't worry, Friday it'll come to you. At the vertex. Now the question is, when I cut it off at the vertex, do I want to keep the part that's to the left or the part that's to the right? To the left. Well, here it tells left, me I want to keep the domain that is containing the number 100. In other words, I want the value x equals 100 in there. Is that going to be the part to the left or the part, the part to the left or the part to the right? Right. It would be the part to the right because to the right of the vertex is where x equals 100 falls. So when I'm lopping off the thing and I want to get the restricted domain, the new restricted domain, will go from, where does it start? Where is that vertex point? Negative 9. Do I get to include negative 9? Yes. I probably should because that's okay. it's an okay point. It doesn't cause any problems with the one to oneness. And I go off to infinity. And then I'll go through the, you then would go through the four steps to find the inverse of that function. The one difference between that and some of the other things we've done is when you take the square root of both sides of this, you only keep the positive part because you can't have the negative part and the positive part and end up with a function that's also one to one. We keep the positive part because of the piece of the domain we decided to keep. That is it.